So a notebook is organized into one or more sections. And then within each section, you can have one or more pages. For example, I might click on the section orientation and I can see I've got a page here called Untitled Page. Now to name this page, I would simply click here and give it a name. So I'm just going to put this is the first day. Immediately as I type a page title, that becomes the name of the page in the page panel. So at any stage, you can type a title here. You can also right click and rename a page and that has the same effect as well. When you want to add more pages, you can easily click this button down here to add page. So let's say I add second day, first week, and first month. So continue to add as many pages as you wish. The date and the time that you added the page also appears under the page title. If you decided to rearrange your pages, simply drag them up or drag them down and rearrange your pages. If you don't want to rearrange your pages manually, you do have a sort button. This sort pages button allows you to sort pages either alphabetically or on the date they were created or by the date they were modified. Or not at all. If you should need to delete a page, you can also just right click and delete a page. Pages can also include subpages. So let's create a subpage. I'm going to right click first week and I'm going to make subpage. And I'll call it, well, it's immediately made a subpage. If I then right click, I can promote subpage and it goes back up to the same level. You can have up to three levels of pages. By right clicking, you can make a subpage, right click, you can promote a subpage, and so on. These two buttons here. If I make a new page and I call it Monday, make a new page, Tuesday. Oops. I can then click on Monday and I can just right click it and I can turn that into a sub page, that into a sub page and that into a sub page. So now there are three sub pages underneath first week and first week has now got a down V. If I click this V I can collapse the detail underneath first page because I don't want to see the sub pages. If I click this button I can expand and I can collapse the sub pages. I can also collapse a page by right clicking and choosing the option collapse subpages and click again and expand subpages. So you can do that with a right click as well. Now often we want to select more than one page and this is possible in a variety of ways. For example, if I click on Monday, I can hold the control key and choose Wednesday and Friday and I've chosen three sheets or three pages. Or I could click on Monday, hold the shift key and click on Friday and I've selected a range of pages. The reason we'd want to do that is perhaps you want to delete a group of pages or demote a group of pages to make them sub pages. For example, I might click on first day, hold the control key, click on second day and then I might right click and delete both pages. So it is possible to select more than one page. Sometimes I want to create a link to a page. So for example, I might go to first month and say refer to the information in the first week. I'll right click first week. I'll copy a link to that page. I'll go back to first month and I'll right click and I'll paste that link and there's my link to the first week. When I click that link, I'm taken to the first week. And so you can actually right click and make a copy, which is a copy of a link to a page. When you work with pages, especially collaboratively, you can mark pages as read or unread. So when I right click a page, I can mark it as unread. When a page is unread, it appears bold. 
so Monday appears more bold than the other pages. And also the section orientation has gone bold, which indicates that there's one or more pages within that section that haven't been read. Once I've read what's in Monday, I can right click it and I can mark it as read. 